Hi everybody, welcome to Spoiler Wording. I'm Mumbles. I'm Chris. I'm Josh. I'm Seamus. And I'm Rootscarn. And we are looking at computers while playing a computer game. Yo, dog, I heard About you like computers, computers so I oh put computers God. in your computer computers game. You're welcome, internet. That meme is I so that. old it should be in a museum as an <laughs> exhibit. <laughs> Did, did you guys see the uh, the the lady that tried to tweet at exhibit and said like, "Hey, can you pimp my ride?" And and his response was basically like, "That was a decade ago. Oh, get a job." To bring Catherine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I agree. This what? that meme should be in a museum that's actually inside of another museum. If I was if I was <laughs> yo dog, I heard you like and... museums, so I put a museum in your museum. It, if exhibit. I was exhibit. And people kept up to me and made pimp my ride jokes. I'd be like, what were you doing watching shitty TV shows ten years ago? Is that where that <laughs> meme comes from, actually? Yeah. I thought that yeah, was just a non sequitur. Because cause, cause Exhibit would, would always be like, yo, dog, I heard you like fish, so I put an aquarium in your car or some other horrible bullshit that doesn't make sense. <laughs> so the original meme was, yo, dog, I heard you like cars, so we put a car in your car so you could drive while you drive. Wow. Learn something wow. new every day. <laughs> something huh. terrible and useless <laughs> and completely Yay. obsolete every single day. Thanks to the internet. For the internet, I never the learned things. The computer that were just useless. started spamming random strings of numbers it, at us. If I, if I was a computer uh, ghost, I would do 6969696969 over and over for 20, 420, 420. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's see that's I don't know if that's less or more funny after Google like, I know Microsoft tried to make oh, a learning I'm AI and that's basically teachers. exactly what happened yeah exactly and we want to go inside what's the problem come on let's get going I think for like a broken AI to be truly believably scary it has to also occasionally be funny like it occasionally has to like do something yeah. sort of weird that's kind of humorous in a maybe a backhanded way. Yeah. So it doesn't like, seem so like it's calculated memes. trying to scare I'm you. I'm not sure this is actually yes. the wow sending us this information. I don't think it is. I think no, it might like... be someone else in Omicron that we will meet and there will yeah. be happy fun times. It's... That's actually one thing that they really rush. Like, they really backload all of the stuff related to the ghost in the machine. To, like, the uh, dude who's still, like, who's, like, that guy, that character actually physically appears on screen in front of us later, I'm pretty sure. And it just, it's so rushed that you don't really know what to do with it. You're just like, well, okay, I guess I'm gonna move on now. <laughs> I think there are some other dead people around here, too. We should go find them. Oh, here's one. How they did a good job. Is Omicron... Oh, so go ahead. They did a good job making that the shelf scary. Keep it... Richard. Oh, you no, mean the shelf of Omicron. Ocean? I was like, what? what? Like a bookshelf? A and and no. how would that happen? So we, we installed a bookshelf on the ocean floor. I just can't stop what? thinking about the Omicron thing in this game, and I wonder if it was, if they named it that because they liked the I'm game. Last or I don't know. Is is there another meaning of that word? Of well, it's a Greek letter, and all the other okay. stations are named after Greek letters too. So no yeah, but like, well, does it have some kind of like now. significant meaning or something? Omicron, the all time. It's Omicron. Mm. <laughs> Why do they call you in? Huh? Oh, it's I was thinking Emma. maybe she was a big Fritz Lang Emma fan. <laughs> I like this conversation. Thanks. Yeah. I like that. Goodbye, Emma. I actually Bye. think that voice acting is often not very good in video games, but I think that the actors are <laughs> the you up to the challenge. <laughs> it's not like it's not maudlin, but they do a good job of playing out characters who are somewhat restraining themselves or somewhat in shock, 
but yeah. are attempting to get their heads around something massive, like the end of the species. Hey. So, it's not really clear here. When I first played through the game, I thought all these dead people were part of, like, the team that went with Catherine to go and plug in the Ark to the space gun and send it into space. Me too. That's... I don't know why but I these are not. That. Yeah, I don't know why I assumed that. That might have just been me just trying to make sense out of incomplete information. But, so, I... I really... I, I read spoilers about the game after I played through it and realized how little of this story I understood. Like, what all these people were doing, dicking around down here. Yeah, this is one of the failings of the game, I think, is that it throws a bunch of these characters at you, but you don't have the time to really learn who they are, and, like, you don't... Like, there's so many names. Yeah. Is that not you don't have the time. You don't, you don't get enough encounters with them to like piece it because it's out of order different groups of people at different times and i think they were just that was too much for me to keep track of in disjointed play sessions where you would you know right. encounter their these groups you know once every three hours of gameplay and it just yeah. wasn't you know, it, I... it wasn't enough for me to form any kind of mental picture I also could not keep this straight, but I didn't mind that uh, as much. Although I think I think to some extent, like they could have made certain things clearer without compromising anything. I kind of also appreciated the idea that it sort of underscores like how much of a moot point their struggles really are. Yeah, uh, they're that's true. they're not going to be remembered. Be the right they're not like uh, nothing about them is going to survive. That's kind of the, well, the message here. I mean, maybe the Ark, but like their human struggles the Ark. are undocumented and transient. There's not going to be some magical space record, and you have to ask yourself as you're attempting to lodge, basically to send memories into space, how important is, are these struggles? Are these stories? How important is this kind of recollection? Is this something that needs to be available for somebody to find later, even if there's no guarantee anyone ever can find it? I don't know, maybe it's an accident that it made me think about that, but it worked for me in that capacity. And I would—I guess I would defend it like that. I, I think uh, uh, System Shock 2 did something similar with the, the audio logs told largely out of, out of order and with a lot of characters you never really see. Um, I think System Shock 2 worked better by limiting the number of characters, one, and two, um, each character character refers to all of the other characters. It felt like it was a small, close-knit community. Here it feels like there was basically four or five separate find that suit and get pods it. of people that each had their own storyline that you're trying to infer, and it gets real here. confusing. Oh man, could they have, like, sprung for a color res. printer? Oh, no, like, a okay, high-quality printer? Go. Oh, there you go. It popped. <laughs> I, oh, I, um, by the way, I everybody's heads what? blew up. Yeah. I didn't actually think that the difficulty in keeping track of the stories, I didn't think of that as a problem with the game until everybody else complained about it. I assumed it was just me, and I'm like, oh, I'm really having trouble keeping this straight. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing yeah. some audio logs. No, I, I played through the game twice, once for my own personal enjoyment and once to do the show, and I still am pretty confused about... You know, Acres is the guy that was the dead guy we just passed, but who's the name of this guy that we're about yeah, to encounter? Yeah, I have been unashamedly reading the wiki as part of research for playing this Let's Play, just so I get the names right and know what the hell's actually happened. I Anyway, no uh, yeah, so... So, like, Catherine's team came through here about, like, two weeks before the whole Acres thing happened. And I guess the reason I thought it was Acres, or I thought it was uh, Catherine's team. Oh, hey, buddy, how you doing? Scary. No, you need to stop it. It's annoying, bro. Um, 
I think the reason I thought it was Catherine's team is because like all the focus was on this like like the whole part focus of Theta is you're you're kind of chasing the footsteps of these guys who ran away from Acres and ran to uh, Omicron. And you think, okay, well, Catherine's team went to Omicron. I guess it was the same people. Yeah. Uh, but that's not the case. Can you not mouse whip and bunny hop, please? Thank you. <laughs> I guess I could. I mean, really, I can't see what you're doing when you do that. I, it's just like all the, these random scrambles of pixels. So... A power suit, you say? Is that like a big We're daddy getting... suit, and you have to get, get all the right? different That's components of it and then put it together? Well, that would be ridiculous, Mamos. <laughs> you don't look like a big daddy. You don't smell okay, like a big daddy. And you certainly <laughs> aren't a freak of nature like a big daddy. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. I love this. She's just like, oh god. Please don't be an idiot about this, Simon. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Why don't we put her in a body? Yeah. I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits. I, I like this. He's like, I'm not promising anything. And he walks around here and it's like monsters everywhere. <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, actually, maybe, maybe I'm okay with leaving. Man, oh, no, what if you were a ghost and you had something really important to tell people, but you could only so tell them in terrifying, creepy ghost ways. Uh oh. Oh, oh no. Oh. Say goodbye to that. Oh. Is a dead woman inside. Whoopsie. Just like the body we found. She was alive until we pulled off her head. This could work in our favor. That'd be so funny if she was actually still alive and you're like, oh. Uh, I mean, she's been dead this whole Can time. Can I get five minutes <laughs> privacy? The, the world ended, like, days ago. Uh. Yeah? Well, I wouldn't know <laughs> about that. Here we go. Oh, there's a couple power suits down in the abyss. Probably does not bode well. Just to say, I think there's dead people down there. Not exactly great aim at two. We're dead people. I think it's an interesting thought experiment. I've been thinking about this since uh, since we started playing this game. Is uh, exactly. Is humanity like like? Let's assume for a moment that um, the WoW doesn't freak out and it gets more specific directives and whatever and doesn't like kill everyone by accident or whatever the hell. Is humanity totally screwed? Is it possible for this population of people, which seems to be a large enough population to, to retain genetic diversity enough so that you don't like? Just I always end heard up with the floor was like dies. 50. Well, I think there's about a hundred-ish, if we count everyone that was in Upsilon when the WoW started killing everything there. Uh, yeah, I, I think you've got enough people. Um, is it possible for these people at the bottom of the ocean, assuming they're the last people alive, to eventually, to live long enough to be able to get to the point where the surface is, like, recolonizable? I don't know. Um, Maybe if they put them in, like, a vault or something, like, underground. I'm not really sure about, like, underwater, though. And if the vault had some kind of like, I don't know, like a scientist in charge trying to do some kind of experiment, then yeah, that makes okay, more sense. Why would this the is, kids? This, there are a bunch of scientists the kids from the adults. Where would you send them? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you'd have to ha let the kids have their own little like, uh, uh, what would they even call it? If they came up, if a bunch of little kids came up with a town name, what would it even be? Tiny. Oh, I don't know. Tiny. Tiny. Candle. Yeah. 
candle. Tiny candle. Tiny candle it. My, yeah. my first instinct on this question, ignoring the little lamplight trolling from you two jerks, um, <laughs> is what would they eat? Where does the food come from? I mean, that's Dude, the you're that's 100 the meters limiter. underwater on the edge of a continental shelf. I'm sure you can rig up some, like, fishing nets or whatever. <laughs> Turns out if you put a pint of structure gel in your be belly, things just kind of work out, and it's best not to question it. Yeah, Eesh. like, what... Like, that is the limiting... You obviously have power, we can assume they have nuke power, which means they can do de no, they, they have hydrothermal which means power, which is actually probably better. Even better. Th that's not going to run out, and nobody needs to take care of a big complicated reactor, which means you can run desalinators, which means you have fresh water. And we can assume this is the magical future, they can just keep scrubbing the air somehow, or, like, there's probably something you can do, to, as long as you've got power, to keep the air yeah, I'm sure that's but, something they took care yeah, of. They, they talk right. about later, but, like, hydroculture, about how, like, yeah. they, they're working on growing food in the ocean. Yeah. I, I mean, can you grow enough to, like, support what, a hundred people or whatever? If you could, then, I, yeah, have a go at it. I you mean, I think, yeah, and, and I, I think, like, supplementing that with, like, where there's clearly marine life that's still alive. You can eat marine life. I'm sure you could find some, uh, oh, I forgot about this puzzle. I'm sure some you people could talked get about enough food. Having the surface world die would kill all marine life, and I don't know enough about marine life to know that's like, something to what I extent wondered about. That's true. Or like, or what the food chain works like not. underwater. So I don't know if that's possible or not, or if there would still be stuff to eat down here. You could breed. You could breed fish, if you have well, the, like. Well, the point is, oh, the point is, like, what would the fish eat? Is the thing that they eat still alive? And it, what uh, does that thing yeah. eat? And is that still sea alive? Sea monkeys. Yeah. Just get a bunch of sea monkeys, and then you can have a fish farm. Because the fish will eat the sea monkeys, and you're good. Aren't sea monkeys just, just dehydrated brine shrimp? Yeah, but that's what fish like to eat. They love the little shrimpies. Hmm. How do you have dehydrated brine shrimp underwater? Uh, I don't know. You brought them down with you. How do you have chairs underwater? A bunch Joshua. of people had comic books and wanted to make sea monkeys dance in a flashlight beam. I like that how that looks like magnetic t a reel of magnetic tape in those things. Right? I was just thinking that. That's silly. That's the equivalent of finding parchment and a quill pen in in a scientific base today. It's like, what are you guys doing? No, it's actually worse I like than that. Worse than that. Although, I can't like magnetic tape store a ridiculously dense amount of information. The problem with it is that like reading magnetic tape it's, is kind of it can't, it can't be more dense than it can't be denser than a hard drive and since it's put oh. on stretchy tape that makes it more unstable so yeah it's not it's not like a quill pen and ink because that's you could ultimately achieve the same ends with that as you could with a pen it's like finding a wax tablet and stylus yeah buddy here i think he needs some uh, some nice home comforts Hey, hey, buddy, in the the thing. Okay, crazy we were playing the original Deus Ex, and I did gave you also chair. get the strength mod and immediately equip your room with a bunch of leather couches? <laughs> I would just steal everybody's leather couches and like furniture and trophies and flags, and I would turn my office into like this swank palace with everything. Man, I was hoping he'd show up and like the chair. Also, oh, like clip so for some reason, like, that was the original right game with invulnerable NPCs hey, because they didn't want you to kill somebody too early. But the thing is, you could here's a trick to pull if you ever play that game again. Uh, wait until Walt Simons is in the Unatco base because he's got a plasma rifle which has a burst effect. So shoot him and he'll start shooting at you and the guards will show up to kill you too. But if you run over by the guards, he'll accidentally hit them. And they'll start shooting at him. And the next thing you know, everyone in Unaco will be shooting Walton Simons, and you can do whatever the fuck you want. Just run around pepper spraying <laughs> people, stealing office supplies. It's all good. I think I think uh, the quartermaster runs out of the armory. 
So you can get in there. What the hell are we even talking about? Dude, it's like, this is a tradition. Play one game, talk about another completely unrelated game. Also, Why was that lady showering with all of her clothes on? Hmm? And no head. Well, but what? Well, our why heads are dirty too, too Mumbles. So. What do you do? Um, I, but what? what? <laughs> but why? Who? Who went around destroying all these heads? Speaking of people who lost track of the it. plot at some point, and it's who destroyed the heads? The wild blue. I think that's monster. Blew up in their heads. Oh yeah, classic. Classic brain chip problem. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> you show up yeah, to so work and they're like, oh, we have this exciting new brain chip project. What do you do? And you're like, okay, can this blow up? And they're like, well, I mean, under very rare circumstances. Okay, no thanks. But you need to figure yeah. okay, I quit. I'm out. I'm out of this place. Look. I'm going to go work look, at McDonald's. Okay, here's the brain chip. It goes on this. You just pull the pin and then you wedge it there inside your brain and you've got to keep a tight grip because you don't want that handle to come loose because then it'll explode. Okay, Seamus, is this a brain chip, or is this a fragmentation grenade? I, I'm not up on all the technical jargon, just put it in your brain. I sure am glad you know what you're doing there, Gordon Freeman. It's cool, we just gotta put wow juice on the chip. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, so, oh. wow, Damn. easy yeah, bake oven. Yeah, so this, like, you can put it on the rat, and doesn't the rat start moving around even though it's dead? Yeah. It yeah. rezzes uh. the rat. It's a rez. Rez, please. You should try putting this on a sandwich. Just, yeah, see, see where that takes Turns you. into a Big Mac. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We learned too late. Too late we learned the truth that would have destroyed our society anyway. <laughs> I was afraid to open this drawer because I thought the rat would, like, attack you or whatever. Yeah. That would make Puts it in the mind lamest Mickey's monster Alice, And not many things do these days. Okay. I'll just put this evil control chip. And all that so I could open a computer. glass door. Yeah. Uh, let's take the big black evil juice and pour it all over my goods. Drink it like a big gulp. <laughs> I was just thinking, anyway. I wouldn't hurt to have a little nip, just a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> chug, 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 chug. And in that room there, they were experimenting with uh, with structure gel themselves. So that structure gel is not like a f like controlled by the wow or anything like that. Turns the out it's the future. Structure gel is just the is just the uh, technical name hey for uh, for Mountain Dew Code Black that they came out with in the future. <laughs> you like your chair no, that I gave you by clipping it's through an the glass door. It's experimental new hair product that keeps that has, exerts a super tight grip on structure gel. Dear diary, we've all put structure gel in our hair, and our hair looks great. I can't foresee Fuck any possible computer. negative consequences down the road. <laughs> 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 gotta go! I'm getting a headache. Uh, I gotta jab the... the rat with the jabby thing. Jab, jab a jab. Oh my god. Ooh! Hello. Obviously you missed your true calling as a scientist. <sighs> So what are we doing today? Are we jabbing something with a jabby thing? Uh, I'm gonna jab this with a jabby yeah. thing. And they're like, um, we're geologists? And then I'm gonna rub my face in it. <laughs> I think I turned off all the power. Huh. Alright, super excited to be working in the lab. Where do you guys keep the evil juice? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta rub it on my man stuff. Hey, buddy. Damn it. <laughs> this guy never talks. <laughs> but, 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 you're not in a male body. That, that body doesn't have. Well, why do you think I need to <laughs> uh, Here gel? we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's your elbow. Why are you. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> well, why not get experimental? <laughs> I didn't realize you guys were so anti science. <laughs> Looks like this was a place where they were experimenting with, like, 
algae Throw or up. something for food production. <laughs> you just like close the door and oh, land on it is person. gross shit. <laughs> like in stencil. I, that I person that on the Houston, floor was more a... creepy to me than any of the monsters that chase you around this place. The idea yeah, that this is one person that's kind of still alive, I found that really disturbing. Okay, this place, this palace of bullshit. We're coming yeah. up on a room with a monster that's basically staring at a little safe in the wall that you need to get into. And she, I think it's a she. Oh, we're a little bit of ways. We're, we're a few doors away. In fact, let's roll over to the next episode and I'll save this rant for next time. <laughs>